Chapter 16. Learn from peers in other countries. Keep up your friendships abroad and make new friends in other countries. The present difficulties in the United States are on are an element of a larger trend, and no country is going to find a solution by itself. Make sure you and your family have passports. In 2016, American journalists seemed to misunderstand a presidential campaign. As a long-shot candidate surmounted barrier after barrier and accumulated victory after victory, our communists, our commentariat blithely assured us that the next stage would be he stopped one by one fine American institution after another. Meanwhile, there was another group of observers who took a different position. Eastern Europeans and those who study Eastern Europe. To them, much about the president's campaign was familiar and the final outcome was no surprise. Ukrainian and Russian journalists who sniffed the air in the Mid Midwest said more realistic things than American pollsters who had built careers on understanding the politics of their own country. To Ukrainians, Americans seemed comically slow to react to the obvious threats of cyber war and targeted lies. When Russian propaganda made Ukraine a target in 2013, young Ukrainian journalists and others reacted immediately, decisively, and sometimes humorously with campaigns to expose Russia or to expose disinformation. Russia deployed many of the same techniques against Ukraine that it later used against the United States while invading Ukraine. When Russian media falsely claimed in 2014 that Ukrainian troops crucified a small boy, the Ukrainian response was rapid and effective, at least within Ukraine itself. When Russian media spread the story in 2016 that Hillary Clinton was ill because she mentioned an article of on decision fatigue, end quote, which is not an illness. In an email, the story was spread by Americans. The Ukrainians won and the Americans lost in the sense that Euro Russia failed to get the regime it wanted in its neighbor, but it did see its pre preferred candidate triumph in the United States. This should give us pause. History, which for a time seemed to be running from west to east, now seemed to be moving from east to west. Everything that happens here seems to happen there first. The fact that most Americans do not have passports has become a problem for American democracy. Sometimes Americans say that they do not need travel documents because they prefer to die defending freedom in America. These are fine words, but they miss an important point. The fight will be a long one. Even if it does require sacrifice, it first demands sustained attention to the world around us so that we know what we are resisting and how best to do so. So having a passport is not a sign of surrender. On the contrary, it is liberating since it creates the possibility of new experiences. It allows us to see how other people, sometimes wiser than we, react to similar problems. Since so much of what is happening now is familiar to the rest of the world from recent history, we must observe and listen.